the light. From the delicate glow of oil lamps to the colorful glow of stained glass windows, the medieval world is the poetry of light in all its variations. It illuminates, warms, reassures, guides and amazes. Gothic cathedrals are the most accomplished and fascinating poems of light. In the land of blue gold, a city of clothemakers and dyers, Bishop Evrard de Fouillois raised the dream of light to the highest peaks of the sky, the great Gothic work. The central stone of the labyrinth echoes it. In the year of grace 1220, this work was begun. The blessed Bishop of this diocese was then Evrard. The master builder was named Maître Robert and nicknamed the Lusarche. After him came Maître Thomas de Gormes, and after him, his son, Maître Renaud, who had this inscription put in the year of the Incarnation, 1288. Powerful and fragile, the cathedral is chiseled architecture now shines on the city. The largest Gothic building in France, Notre Dame d'Amiens, converses with light in the most perfect of agreements. The latter reflects the boldness of its architecture. Or its decoration transfigures the rays of light into as many colored phrases. Light is indeed a language. It reveals the invisible from the colors of the world to the gold of heaven. The cathedral, painted in shimmering colors, is the jewel box set with precious stones for the relief of the head of John the Baptiste, who in the 13th century.